an excellent video. Uh, I've been thinking about similar things for quite some time now, and uh, since you've already said certain things that <laughs> in a way are just mirroring my own mind, saying it out loud, I'm not going to repeat the things you've already said. Um, but I do want to talk about <clears throat> the main focus of my interpretation of your video. It's absolutely true. Is feminism inherently female? Um, I think the biological point, however, is important because if it's uh, biological, then I think in some ways it's much easier to identify and therefore to oppose. And maybe I'll get into that a bit later. But the simple fact is, I'm complete agreement with you. I've been thinking about this extensively. Anecdotally, I brought up the possibility that Girl Rights What has male uh, brain wiring. Um, and for lack of a better description, that's all I can really call it. That is to say, when a woman engage, engages in rational, uh, well thought out, reasonable discourse, thinks, th thinks through, thinks out issues um, without engaging in a knee jerk reaction, generally speaking, I can only identify that as a kind of male thinking. The reason why I do that is because it's so, so rare to find women who, who in fact, engage in a, a thinking and a thought process along the lines of girl rights what. And this leads to a further point, I think, unfortunately, and you're once again 100% under 10% spot on, feminism is inherently, uh, and is inherent to females, since feminism is a doctrine, or I wouldn't even call it as much as a doctrine, as the, the drive to promote female supremacy. Um, most women will get on board with that. There are peers within the men's rights movement, if you want to call it, or at least the women who are quote-unquote sympathetic or towards men or speak out for men's issues, there really appears to be only two camps I've discovered. The one camp is the one you can count on one hand, never mind that one pinky maybe, uh, that's Girl Rights What. I might have seen a video by another who might be in that camp, and those are the rationalist women, as I would call them. They're, they're far and few between, in fact, I think far and few between is a bit of a euphemism. They're, they're more than that. They're, they're so rare. They're, they're rarer than anything I could think of. The others you find much more Frequently, they're a bit more ubiqui ubiquitous, and um, those are the traditionalists, some, someone like Miss Christie. But they are, in fact, traditionalists. They're not, they do, to some extent, think irrationally about these issues, but they're certainly advocating a return to the old ways. Um, this, in her videos, in Miss Christie's videos, I see this constantly. Um, that's not something I would advocate, and I think, you know, I haven't seen your videos, and we both agree that. Uh, Going back to the old ways isn't really much of a solution to anything. So what do we end up with? We end up with a situation, as you point out uh, very eloquently, that the vast majority, and we're talking about 99% plus of women, are going to fall in the camp of being a default feminist, since feminism is a, simply a drive, at the end of the day, to promote female supremacy and female interests. Um, on the one hand, various studies have shown that females will always fe favor female interests over males. They will associate more readily associate with females. So if that, whether it's biological or not, uh, numerous studies indicate that. And so that's a wall. That's an issue, and that will contribute to it. And then there's, of course, human nature. Um, it's a bit trite to, to state yet again, but uh, you know, power corrupts, and ultimate power corrupts ultimately. If women have uh, access to a great deal of power, very, very few of them, I would imagine, would relinquish that power um, voluntarily. In fact, uh, I, 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 once again, you might be able to count them on one pinky. And this is the problem, of course, that the com combined favoritism towards the self, the female, the promotion of self-interest, um, really renders um, most of the females out there, by default, uh, people, this might be a bit palatable to say, essentially the enemy. Um, of 
course, not every woman, but the vast majority, the vast majority will not be able to see past their own uh, interests and to look at a problem and dissect it in a rational and reasonable manner. Girl writes, what is really a, a phenomenon, if only for that reason? Um, and those of you who are watching, uh, I certainly have gotten a few comments uh, on, along these lines. I've never insulted girls' rights. So fact, all I do is praise her. So and you can watch all my videos. You won't see a single one of those, just in case uh, those commentators happen to see this. But so this, this is really the juggernaut we're up against, up against. And it is a juggernaut. There's no doubt in my mind what you say is so true. Um, and because it is inherent to female nature, wherever it's spread, the doctrine or the drive of feminism, it will be taken up by females and will be promoted by females. And, yeah, the issue of safety, certainly uh, self-preservation, everyone has, has a sense of self-preservation. But men, we men, have always been much more likely to engage in self-sacrificial -sacri behavior in general for the... Uh, the benefit of uh, the greater good, as it were, if they want to call it that, I wouldn't use that term, for the uh, the common wheel. Um, but females know no such behavior. Um, at best, they might engage in some self-sacrifice for uh, blood relatives, direct offspring, and that's about it. So, no, absolutely. Is it inherent to female nature? Of course it is. The promotion of female, quote-unquote, rights, female privileges, female interests over, over male interests, over anyone's interests, really. And I've, talked, I've touched on this briefly before, the promotion of female interests, even to the detriment of other females. Um, the female is an inherently self-interested creature. Um, the exceptions to that are so far and few between that it probably isn't even worth mentioning and, and, and making a statement to the effect of, oh, not all women are like that. Well, we all know how that goes. Um, it's not really much point in that. I have never encountered a woman, barring one or two YouTubers in the entire world, in my entire 34 plus years of existence, that uh, could actually, once the, the stakes were high enough, engage in a truly rational discussion about issues. It always becomes emotive, and uh, self-interest always comes out. And so I think, ultimately, it's, it's, uh, it's sad to say, but most women, if they are exposed to feminism directly, or even if not, are by default uh, in a position of being an enemy of, of, of a sort. Um, because they will, they will never show sympathy, they will never show mercy, they will never show any sense of compassion towards a person if he is a male. Um, and, and that, of course, is a very dangerous, dangerous, dangerous prospect. And something we have to realize and be cognizant of, um, as much as it might depress us and make us feel, hmm, well, it's certainly not a, to, to, to recognize and realize that fully half of humanity will never, ever, ever cast a glance of compassion or, uh, or rational, uh, or engage in rational discourse with you about these very serious issues. It's, it's, it's a startling revelation if it's new to someone, and um, a one that is constantly depressing. Uh, of course, we do need to get past that and just accept things as they are, and I'm, I'm, I've been at that point for a while. But uh, to, to realize the nature of the female, the fact that feminism is inherent to, to the female uh, and female nature, it's, it's, in a way, it's a scary thought. And as, as you very brilliantly pointed out, many countries, India in particular, is very, I've seen that, it's good, good you brought that up, I've seen that very often. You'll see many, many women uh, taking up the so-called cause of feminism. And that's where it starts, right? And then it gets worse and worse. Um, so, this ultimately, in my opinion, leads back to something I've talked about before, is that 
the withdrawal and withholding of male resources, male energy, creative spirit, intelligence, seems to be the only way, to my mind, that I can think of, the only way to combat um, the enemy and combat what we're up against. Because, as I mentioned in my Parasite Host video, the female, because of its self-interest, I mean, after a parasite is at the end of the day uh, a self-interested creature, um, will require the presence of males to keep the cogs in the giant wheel and the giant machine going. If the cogs leave, not thrown away, if the cogs leave of their own free will, um, this will lead to a disempowerment of the female, ultimately. But it, the, the, the sad news, ultimately, 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 is that even if we were to reach the point where we completely decouple the female from uh, her position of seemingly limitless uh, power and influence in society, I have to say I suspect that even then they will not see a reason. Even then, uh, men will be demonized as traitors, as people who've uh, turned their backs on uh, protecting what is right and just and so on and so forth. Um, there, there, there will never be uh, classic heroes in the men's rights movements or men going their own way. The only thing we have is ourselves, uh, a concern for our, our fellow men, for our brothers, and uh, and our reason. At the end of the day, that's that's all we have. There will be no recognition, and I'm quite certain that we will be we will in the future be demonized if it should the time should come that uh, our efforts to withdraw and withhold our intellectual, physical, and other resources from society leads if that leads to a a true decoupling of of power. To the from the female, that that will, I'm almost certain, it just end up in accusatory uh, reactions and, and declarations towards us. Uh, there's no easy way out, and in that sense, uh, there is a way out, but I dare say it's a lot harder than the way out was for Rocky in that particular film. But it's so important that you touched on this. It's something I've been thinking about. And it just goes to show why, say, for example, Girl Writes What is so uh, essential um, in her role as a female men's rights activist. Because, A, she's a female. And she here said it herself. People have written to her saying they, they would have written her off if she had been a man. Um, and really to show that how, how much of a needle in the haystack she is and I'm deeply, deeply skeptical because I think it does require, for lack of a better description, some sort of brain, male brain wiring uh, to reach that point where you can look at issues in a rational, clear manner. I'm deeply skeptical that even the female viewers of Girl Rights What uh, would really, really come around to her points of view, to her perspective. So I'm sure they find it perhaps interesting, but at the end of the day, their own self-interest will trump any reasoned and rational argumentation, no matter how good it is, no matter how cogent it is, no matter how persuasive, um, and no matter how logical it is. Uh, female self-interest, i.e. feminism, will always trump um, whatever is put, up, put out against it. This has been my experience time and again. I've seen it time and again. And so, yes, she... Girl Rights What is an essential, a very important ally, uh, great poster, important exponent of, of talking about men's issues. And at the same time, I'm deeply skeptical that she's actually going to reach uh, a lot of a lot of women to the point where they actually turn around and start realizing things themselves. Um, the best case scenario I can ever I can imagine, if if we were to reach that point, would be. Some, something to the effect of a woman realizing that hmm, her, her or in, en masse, their beha women's behavior has somehow led to uh, a, a lowering of their own personal standard of living, so 
they would do in a manipulative fashion what they could to sort of restore that. Um, and maybe they would all play nicey nicey, and who knows? But uh, women's women's interests are, and their lack of reason, and their blind favoritism of the self. It's um, it's very clear that uh, even the most cogent, powerful, uh, and best posters sort of, who happen to be even female, such as Girl Rights What, they're. They're, up there. I mean, they're trying to move the Empire State Building, essentially, with their bare hands. Uh, I just don't see it happening. It uh, doesn't mean it shouldn't be done. It needs to be done. Uh, and I see my role, uh, I said this before, is I get occasional messages that I'm, I'm helping a few, a couple of hundred, maybe a couple of thousand guys out there just to you know see things and maybe look at things from a different perspective that might be helpful to them, that might improve their lives. That, that's my job here. I'm not going to change the world. Um, I'm not going to change very much at all, and I'm aware of that. But and then you know, I, I've I've seen it in, in having lived in Asia. I've I've seen it as well. Uh, the more privilege you give to women, the more they abuse it. Uh, it's it's a juggernaut, unstoppable. But I really appreciate you making this video. It's really something I've been thinking about a lot. And the, i.e., the the inherent, the congenital nature of, of feminism to the female, and so I, I can't help but think that ninety nine percent plus of the women are are in some default category enemies. I mean, they since they will never show sympathy or or, or understanding or engage in rational discussion about these issues. Um, you know, it's. Uh, it's quite astounding. That's all I have to say about that. But anyway, thanks for making this video. And uh, once again, if I haven't said this enough about Russ, you were the guy who made me start making videos in a much more strident fashion, I guess, and, and really touch on these issues. And uh, for that, I'm very thankful, and I appreciate your support. And I hope you continue making videos, and we all do. And uh, we can help as many men as we can. Thanks for watching.